Thank you, sisters. Orlana, will you please take the chime and place it where it belongs? Mirabas? Cicero? It's been a while. Oh, Cicero, it is you. Come here. I never thought. Why have you returned? Business, I'm afraid. I cannot speak too much of it. I understand. But here? Have you come to listen to some songs? No. A uh, friend of mine should be here. A mariner. I believe I heard some of my songstress is speaking of one. He should be somewhere atop the singing tree. I'll find him. Thank you, Mirabas. Sorry. A strange choice of greeting? That mask runner. If I hadn't done what I did, maybe she wouldn't have died. She wouldn't have been the first mask runner you've killed. It's not about me. If she was still alive, maybe she could tell us where my brother is. Or where to find the artifacts. You heard. And learning how to create masquerines again is... huge, I know. But somehow, compared to finding my brother, I say that I'm scared for him. But in the end, it is I that undermines our progress to find him. Razatov is that much further away now. Five years ago, I was put on an investigation that led me to discover that my brother had been siphoning masquerines out of the Hall of Bearings. I didn't join him in the endeavor, obviously, but I let him go. When the registry found out, and word spread, the consensus at the time was that I had to be punished. Death by hanging was the easiest option, to remind the others what awaited them should they ever place their hearts above their duty. It was your brother that sacrificed much of his clout to negotiate the terms of my punishment. He managed to reduce it from a death sentence to one of exile. Your brother saved my life, Calden. I... didn't know that. We'll get him back, Calden. On your Mariner's Moon. I promise that. Thank you. Orlana! Every marshal that I've spoken to says that you knew him well. Calden, who is this? Inspettore, my name is Orlana Corveil, songstress of the Hall of Songs and sister of Jax's Corveil. Orlana, do not involve the Inspettore, please. I had once tried asking the Registry for assistance, but they turned me aside. Perhaps you will be kinder. Orlana, you must move on. How? My brother is dead. And I know not why or how. And the only lead I have refuses to answer my questions. 
There is nothing to answer. And so I approach an Inspettore, who certainly could do a better job than I. Cicero, we have no time for this. Let the Inspettore... Jaxus is gone! And no amount of investigating is going to bring him back to the shores of life! He would want you to move on. But please... Orlana... Calvin... A shadow of my past. We should go. What is this about? No greetings, even? Stop wasting my time. <sighs> All right. I want you to be a part of this investigation. What? You have expertise that my team is lacking. This is not a good idea. I can pay you. A thousand crescents. You don't have that kind of money. I will once I finish my job, with your help. Amadea, what is stopping you? Masquerines, the blood of the city. This is our chance to find out where they came from. For centuries, the histories of the land have been enigmatic. For the first time, that curtain is being lifted. Fine. Really? Do you want me to back out now? No, no. This is good. Thank you. Now, where are we going? Toth, found us a place yet? Yes, we did. We think you'd be most pleased with it, sir. Well, let's hope you're right. So, what fruits have your search yielded? It's a place called the Estiguary, sir. Is it crowded? Not at all, sir. In fact, the place is practically barren, save the people who own it. The owner said there was done a toll, but he's more than willing to house us for the night. For as long as we want, in fact. Generous. How much is he asking? He said it depends on who we bring back. Of course he did. I wouldn't put my trust in anyone who didn't hold a bargain. I'm glad you think so, sir. We're just arriving. Tides. That's... Beautiful. All right, Ricardo. I hereby promise never to rat you out. Sir, we'll go in and tell the owner that you're here. We'll be right back. I don't understand. This is too beautiful to be so... empty. The owner was telling us that the people of the city forgot about it ever since the war started. In the first year of the war, the road that led here was frequented by mask runners. It makes sense that people stopped coming. What a pity. I'm not shedding any tears. The more space we have to ourselves, the better, I say. He's ready for you, sir. <sighs> All right. Let's see. Cicero? Hello, Ven. Wait. You know each other. What? I don't believe it. How have you been? I should be asking you that question, you rascal. Why didn't you tell me you were bringing him? We didn't know that. Well, why don't the lot of you find some rooms that suit you? As you can tell, the entire place is basically yours. How about that, then? The twins were saying something about price. Ha! <laughs> Cicero, please. What do you think I am? The kind of man who swindles his friends? No, oh, no, that treatment is reserved for the dastardly. You, you stay here for free. Then, I, I can't. I insist. And I insist not. You will take something, or I'm afraid I'm going to have to walk out. <laughs> All right. But remember, you insisted. Now, please, the... Ah, ages, Lucia. You had me worried. Is this a bad time? I was out in the Pale Isle when I saw you leave the spire. 
I hope you don't mind that I followed you. I thought it'd be prudent for me to offer an apology. The rest of you, call it a night. Get a room, get comfortable. I'm certain Leventhus over here can get you all settled in. Definitely. We won't disturb. Promise. All right. About suggesting that Avestus call you back, Cicero, I... You can pay me back by telling me all you know about the mask runners. Sorry? Come on, you're hard of hearing now. You said you were investigating them, yes? <sighs> Unbelievable. All right. Over drinks? Sounds like a plan. So, first things first. This Herald. Fractured. Lucius says that ever since the War of Bearings began, the Mask Runners have been fragmenting. Returning back to their factions, the way things were before my brother. And which faction has Razitov? They call themselves the Dactites. They're the ones we met at the Quiet Order. Led by the Herald. Exactly. And what do you plan to do? Find this Herald and get Razitov back. Simple as that. There you are. Is she the result of the cleaver? Result? How did you find us? I returned to the White Spire this morning. Inspiratory Lucia was there. Apparently, she'd been here for most of last night. <sighs> Can't hide forever. Marshal, this is Armadea. She'll be lending us her expertise in the Dementicate. You've spoken to her of the artifacts, then? We have. So, what are they? What do they do? We're not entirely sure yet. Our leads in the Cleaver were... destroyed. <sighs> what are your plans now? We need to get Razatov back from the Mask Runners, a faction of them called the Dactites to be specific, and we're going to do that by finding the Herald, their leader. Direct. How refreshing. And how do you intend to find this Herald? <sighs> by finding Lysandra Rorik. What? The leader of the Mask Runners. Make a distinction, Marshal. Lysandra leads the Melakate. They're not the Mask Runners with Razatov. Just tell me which groups I should be taking note of. The first, the Dactites. A new faction led by the Herald who have Razatov. The second, what remains of the Melakate, led by Lysandra, my brother's second in command. And you want to find her because you believe she can lead us to the Herald? Yes, and Lucia concurs. Inspiratory, those are mask runners you're talking about associating yourself with. We're not colluding with them. We just need information. They are fugitives of the law. If you have another suggestion on how we should find Razatov, please, I'm all ears. I hope you know what you're doing. To find her, Lucia has suggested that we turn to a character called the Bloodless. <laughs> I suppose that is a smart move. No. Lucia didn't tell me very much about the man. He is a man without honor. He is a smart man of the Laboris Solus who recognizes the power of information and secrets. If there is anyone that can track a person down in the city, it is him. The Luca have spent years attempting to locate this man. He's crossed more than a few of my guild's boundaries. Note that we are not here to tend to the Golden Guild's interests. You might not. You think Favio will be happy with you stopping this investigation just to catch one man? Oh, fine. I will not act against him. I do not trust him. Calvin. I am sorry, Cicero, but there are entities in this city that I do not wish to be involved with. For the sake of your brother, even? <sighs> as long as I don't ever have anything to do with him. And how do you intend to establish contact with this enemy? You seem to know a thing or two about him. I've worked with one of his messengers before. Vasco Tessitore. He's often found in a tavern called the Bleeding Beetle. That is our best bet. Then what are we waiting for? What do you want? You seem troubled. I stick with you for one day, and already I'm part of plans to venture into the darkest parts of the city. Mask runners, the bloodless. It is often in the shadows do secrets hide, and we are chasing big secrets. What do you think the city will be like? 
once we find Razatov and the artifacts. Well, masquerines will no longer be scarce, which means the fundamental threads that our society has been woven from will change. How that even begins to affect our world. The guilds might not even need to exist. The titles of Contadoni and Mask Runner might cease to mean anything. I... I really don't know. I suppose we'll find out. Sure you don't want to come? Yes. He's going to help us find your brother, you know. Then I'll be glad when he does. I'll see you later, then. Ven, are you still interested in that hobby of yours? Collecting stones and fine metals and all that? I haven't changed that much. Well, have a look at this, please, and tell me all you can of it. What is it? I was hoping you could tell me. I have a feeling it's got at least a few, uh, special properties. Hmm. I'll do some tests and measurements and get back to you about it when you return. One last thing. Don't tell the Marshal about it, if you could. My lips are sealed. Where did you go? Don't be stupid. You've seen how he is. He's a good man, Alina. Even good men have standards. I hope you're not talking about me. Sir! Sir! We were just... Nothing. You were just... nothing? Well, if that's really the case... We'd like to practice the visifer, sir. Brother! Both of you? I apologize, sir. My brother... Let him speak. Yes, the both of us, sir. Uh, Meliari for myself and Messaniari for my sister. Well... If you want to practice the Visiva, you're going to need a piece of equipment from a masquerader, aren't you? Yes, sir, but we understand if you don't want to do this. After all, we have nothing to our name and no credentials and... Will this do? Sir... That's not an answer. What? Well, uh, it would do fantastically, sir. There's enough space for the inscriptions involved in Meliare. And the blade is more than enough to paint on. Are you sure, sir? Well, the worst that could happen is I get an ugly blade back, isn't it? All right. Just a minute, sir. We'll do some basic forms. Now, a moment of truth. Hmm. The energies do flow smoother. It worked, brother! I don't believe it. Thank you, sir. Well, if there's anything more I can do... Sigil, sir. Anything that has complicated Dementicate symbols. I'd like to try my hand at the more complex workings. I'll keep an eye out. And you, Elena? If you could find plants of the more exotic variety, I could use their dyes. A larger palette drastically alters the effects of Messaniare. I'll bring back anything I can find. Now, hold on. Since you're both trained in the Visiva, you think you could handle this? Raw masquerines. I don't intend on getting bogged down with the documentation if I have to go through the Registry's artisan to get these touched up. Sir... This is basic work. We can get these up to scratch in no time. Good. Until then, however, we have business to attend to. Where, sir? An establishment called the Bleeding Beetle. You know of it? It's one of our favorite haunts, sir. Excellent. Off we go, then. If you don't mind me asking, you're awfully familiar with the owner of the tavern. He was a close friend of my family's when I was younger. Before I joined the Portieri, he shared his purse with us. Helped us get through rough times. That's sweet. 
and naive. Most Contadani can't even fend for themselves. What sense is there in sharing? What sense is there in not keeping everything to yourself? What's the use? Ah, the Stone Cold Girl finally shows a sliver of a heart. It just doesn't make sense. The street to get you to the Bleeding Beetles down this way, sir. Too small for the coach. We'll be waiting for you here, whenever you're done. It's just ahead. That's him. The one with the flute. He's good? Among the city's best. We should get closer. By the ages. What do you see? There, over by the side. That man with the guards. That's Isander Urshul. He's the leader of the Salt Breathers, one of the smaller Masquerina factions that existed before the war. Apparently, they're still around. I've heard of them. Getting Contadoni addicted to Stone Salt, then charging exorbitantly. They've practically robbed hundreds of families of their stability. And nothing's been done about it. And nothing will be done. Not today, at least. Remember who we're here for. Thank you, thank you! He's getting away! Marshal, don't do anything! You! Stay where you are! What are you doing? What? Protect me! Oh, great. Let's do this! Legacies do you think you're doing? That man is Isander. I know who he is, damn it. He has a contract on his head for blood's sake. You mean that? Forget it. I see you're with Amadea. You're here for the bloodless? Yes. Then you will listen to me. Isander is a large man with a love for large spaces. He will not take any of the alleyways, and neither will you. What do you mean by... You will follow him, chase him, and he will send his guards to stop you. Be a dear and take care of them for me. What do you do? Slip through the shadows. If you do your job right and keep him running down the wide street, I'll be able to take care of him once he's alone. I repeat, alone. That means... No guards, we get it. Good. Then go before you lose him. Just too close. 
There, ahead. Going somewhere? <sighs> well, well, Lysander. You've been a tough rat to catch. I did nothing wrong. Oh, how entertaining the words of the ignorant can sometimes be. You consider ruining the lives of hundreds of Contadani nothing wrong. They came to me for the salt. They wanted it. I never forced it on them. No. You simply lied to them. Told them it was medication. And then you watched their lives fall apart in front of you as you grew fat upon their innocence. I... I won't do it again. You have my word. I'll give them back the money, I swear. A kind offer. How unlike you, Isander. People change. Hmm. Go then. The Laboris will keep its ear out for you. If we hear that you have not been true to your word. Hunt me again, I'll say. A fair deal. Off you go then. Now, time for the real you show. Think you can threaten me? So much cleaner for the heart when they fall upon their own blade, wouldn't you say? You knew he was going to try that. Of course I did. Stick around in my vein of work long enough and you learn that people like that never change. But the lot of you clearly haven't been in this vein for very long. Silence, bloodling. And you are in a position to say such a thing. You who ruined the entire plan. As if you even had a plan. You're nothing but... Isander Urschel is a man of habit and a man of fine hearing. After every strong performance he witnesses, he retreats to his abode in the dim way, intent on scribing out the music. This is the only time you will ever catch him without his guards, the time when his neck is most ripe for the cutting. So yes, oh golden one, I had a plan. But come, enough talk of the dead. You've helped me clear a contract. I suppose introductions are at least necessary? My name is Vasco Tessitore, bloodling of the Laboris Salis. And I... Inspitore Cicero Guevara of the Registry, Amadea Invidius, initiate of the Dieci Sovrani, and Lumbering Cow, mistake of the Luca Infinita. How dare you! Hold, Marshal. We've come with a purpose. Do not forget that. We need to speak with the bloodless. I'd guessed as much when I saw Amadea with you. Though I am curious to ask, such strange company you're keeping, my dear. Well, the winds of change are blowing strong. And the paths of the supple carried along. I see. Well... Oh, don't stop there. I'm... I'm sorry? Certainly you'll not quote one half of the song without the other. The branches of death lull to its beat, and in their wake do the sleepers weep. Oh, truly, what a choice of companion on the day. You know the song? My brother taught it to me, yes. It seems you've forgotten who I am. I'm afraid I had. Excuse me, what is going on? Nothing, Marshal. Just exchanging words about an old ditty. But enough of that. I'm sure we'll have more time to talk later, yes? Of course. We'll head back to the Estiguary. We can all speak a little bit more then. A question, Bloodling, before we talk business. I, sir? You sing songs and tell tales of the lives of others, yes? That I do. I also eat and drink and sometimes sleep. Have you ever heard of a young boy who went by the name of Jabs before? His mother had been a dirge in the Laboris as well, Talia Victus. Hmm. Not names that chime in my memory, no. Why? Mm, uh, it sounds strange, but you remind me a little of him. <laughs> he must be quite the fetching man. Oh, if you were alive, perhaps. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. It has been enough years for that wound to close. Uh, forget I ever brought it up. My, my, what a beauty. 
Already you're taking me to the good places in Spatore. Marshal, if you'd watch him, I don't want him breaking anything inside. Does that include his face? Why didn't you tell me earlier? What did you expect me to say? Hello, I was a mask runner. I hope you don't mind. When you use mask runner code phrases in front of me, that's basically what you're saying anyway. Why did you suggest the bloodless? Surely you know Alessandra is. It's been years since I left the Malacate. He's the best lead we have. Why did you leave? Reasons. All right. I won't pry. What? Most of the time when people ask why I left the city, I usually feel like introducing them to my fist, so... Yes, I understand if you don't want to talk about it. Besides, it's not why you're here anyway. You're right. It's not. What? We'll continue this another time. Enough, Mariner. What's going on? Ah, Inspettore. Perhaps you can be of assistance in this matter. Why did you bring him back here? We are to speak to him in the privacy of our lodging. I see no issue with that. Honestly, neither do I. Do not speak to me of honesty. You work for the bloodless. You don't even understand the word. Calden, what is wrong with you? With me? This man is a tool the Bloodless has used to spread his tides of corruption through the city. Why do you bring him into this house? To get your brother back. Now sit. We are having civil conversation. I'm exciting, I know. Now is not the time for glibness. Uh, all right, all right. The Bloodless has numerous contracts, each with varying difficulty. It is my task to judge which contract is worthy of the price you demand. Two questions are all we wish to ask. Ask away. I do not believe you should be privy to these questions. Agreed. Your tongue is far too loose to trust. Ha! Understand this, if nothing else. I have not survived as an agent of the bloodless by dancing through the streets, tongue wagging. If this discussion is to progress any further, you must first pay me with trust. The first step into the mire. Silence, Mariner! You are seated in the quiet chair. You are not allowed to speak unless you come and sit at the speaking table. Rules of civilized conversation. So, what shall it be then, Inspettore? We wish to ask him the following questions. Cicero! Chair! The Mask Runners have a figure in their ranks they call the Herald. Where can we find him? All right. And? Where can we find Lysandra Rorick? Hmm. For those two questions, I have a contract in mind. Perhaps the Mariner would like to be here to hear it in its entirety? I can hear you fine from here. Fine. It is a matron. What? I can hear you fine from here. Explain yourself. Did someone say something? Explain. <sighs> the contract has been placed on the Matron of the Withering Mast. Matron Beneva? The Withering Mast is a ward of the Sorelle known for taking in single mothers with little hope left in the world. And in doing so has only helped dozens of mothers and their families. No. She has abused the women. Plunged them into a life of prostitution. Their children are not spared that fate. There are some in this city that would pay heavy crescents for a child. Liar! You do well to understand how seriously the laborists take their contracts, Mariner. If the intelligence says that she is guilty, be assured that you will find no evidence otherwise. And if we fulfill this contract, the Bloodless will meet us? The Bloodless will give you your answers. Yes. She is a matron of the Sorelle, Cicero. A matron of my guild. I need to see for myself if this is true. I'm going. No. You have a vested interest in this, Mariner. But I... And seeing another Sorelle asking about her ward, it'll raise flags, don't you think? Oh, you're right. I'll take along two of the others. Any more and it'll be suspicious. We'll await your decision downstairs, then. Mm. 
quite a temper back there. The man brings dark tides, and I do not like it. What do you have against him? Some burdens are better borne on the shoulders of many. Mine are not such burdens. But I appreciate the thought. Razatov is somewhere out there, and I need your mind on this. Fully. I can see dark clouds in your eyes. You are drifting from this investigation. I don't want that. Whatever these burdens of yours are, if you ever think sharing them might help... The others are waiting for you. <sighs> Just remember my offer. Ben was telling me we had a special guest. Livia! I missed you last night. I was out with Damien. We had some errands to run, shopping for Seho's sojourn. It's tomorrow, after all. Damien? Oh, Cicero. It's been that long, hasn't it? I'm afraid I'm missing something. Cicero, meet Damien Marimbus, our son. Pa, is this...? That's him, all right. Wow! Pleasure, sir. A real pleasure. What awful stories has your father told you about me? Oh, awful? You're kidding, sir. Nothing short of amazing they are. <laughs> oh, Ven. I speak the truth. What can I say? I'm sorry for taking your time, Cicero. You're busy, I'm sure. And we have preparations to make for the festival, but it was nice seeing you again. And you as well, Livia. You won't be going off from here anytime soon, will you? <laughs> no. We'll be seeing you around, Cicero. Don't worry. Excellent. Then until next time. So, found anything? I wasn't able to do very much without the proper tools. Livia's got them from the market, though, so I'll be able to conduct further tests now, but uh, nothing so far. Hmm. Well, if you do find anything, let me know, alright? Of course. Omadea. Not now. I wasn't going to talk about that. I was going to ask about how you knew the Bloodling. Same thing. You met him as a mask runner? I thought you said you weren't going to talk about it. I, I just need to know if we can trust him. We can. Alright. If you say so. So, how is Fabio taking the news? He doesn't plan to stand in your way, if that's what you mean. He's as interested in the nature of them as we are. Do you think you'll say the same once we find out what they actually do? <laughs> you ask when you already know the answer. Right. I was just hoping, I suppose. Look forward, Inspiratore. We have work to do. Settled in already, I see. It's quite the lovely place you have, really. And quite the motley crew as well. <laughs> Don't I know it. It's not every day you see drops of colors in such close proximity. Golds and blues and browns. Makes me wonder, though, what strange reasons glue this lot together? Perhaps if you do your job, you might find out. Hmm. Yes, of course. We'd best get on with it then, no?
Here we go, sir. All touched up. Where to, sir? A Sorelle ward. The withering mast. It's rather curious that we're traveling to a Sorelle ward without our Sorelle. There are some times when familiarity is less than wanted. Now is one of those times? Unfortunately so. Mm, even the best of the guilds still has shadows, doesn't it? We'll be here, sir. This is it. An inspitore. It is rare to see a member of the White Spire in a blue ward. It is brave of you to come. It is only brave if there is a reason to be afraid. And there isn't, of course. My name is Matron Beniva. And mine you needn't know. Ah, oh, of course. I understand. Well, I shouldn't keep you too long then. It seems the lot of you have a purpose here. I'd best leave you to it. I'm surprised she didn't recognize you. Whatever it is, we need to find evidence of what she's up to. The women here should be able to tell us more. Excuse me, miss. Have you a moment to spare? What do you want? My name is Cicero. Sable. And your child? Why are you here, Inspitore? Do you spend all your afternoons at this table? Some. Others I spend in my room. In those days that you spend out here, what do you do exactly? I do not see very many things for one to busy oneself with. The comfort of peace and solitude. The nursing hall sometimes gets noisy. Sasha doesn't sleep well there. That is considerate. Of course. I would do anything for my daughter. Truly? If you have an answer that you are attempting to goad out of me, ask the right questions. You are a direct woman. There is no room in this world for subtlety. When you need to survive, you cannot spare thoughts for the game of questions. You ask, you answer, you move on. Treasure the moments in between. Is that what life is like in here? Ask, answer, move on. To the next question, the next meeting, the next customer. You are just like them. Sable, please. You're not an inspiratory. You're a beast. You are mistaken. I have not come here to... Sable, again? If the matron learns that you are displeasing our guests... It is all right, Sorelli. 
There is no issue here. Well, if there is anything, Inspitore, anything at all, I will be right over there. You have spirit. Your daughter has been very quiet. You said that I was mistaken. Prove it. Tell me you are not of their kind. I am not. By all the ages, you have my word in my heart. Then help me. Please. Your daughter? Deneva. Lost legacies. Will you help me, Inspitore? Yes. Yes, I will. Then follow me. Everything is fine, Asha. Just fine. Oh, and Asha, would you please let Divina know that my room is looking a little lonely at the moment? Sable, what is going on here? Routine, Inspitore. Cicero, please. I'm not acting within the authority of the Registry. Not now. Cicero, the women in this banco are put on rotation. Every ten day we must meet our quota of customers and only then can we see our babes again. In the meantime, we are given that to remind us of why we must work. When we have our darlings back, they lock us in a room beneath the ground until our names appear on the roster again. It will change, Sable. Now, I came with two others. I need... It has been settled. Ah, Divina. Pleasure you could join Cicero? us. Cicero? goes wrong, she will not have to lie when she tells them she was no part of it. She and her babe will be safe. I did not hit her hard, so we don't have much time. The passage to the chambers beneath are down the hall. Beneva keeps those who are not on duty on the first level beneath the earth. But there are more levels beneath. When we are on duty, she takes our babes and descends further. I don't know what awaits us beyond. I've never been deeper myself. Now, let's go. She has taken all three of them into her room. Hmm. That cape is just cloth over the shoulder of a mortal. A mortal thirsty for flesh. But come, her job is done. It is time for us to retrieve Sasha for her. Sasha. The stairs down are just beyond this door. I understand. Cicero, they're likely guarded. Then woe to the men who stand for the foul. Intruder! 
eyes from the White Spire. Stay back, Sable. Hmm. Finally gathered the goal to try, did you? You seem to have forgotten what happens to the children of women who... You leave Sasha alone! Oh, don't waste your words. When you're gone, you won't be able to shed tears for her anyway. And you, Inspitore. It seems you've found out about my little operation. I'm afraid I can't let you leave now. Watch your flanks! Final chance, Inspitore. Turn and leave, and the blood of the innocent needn't be on your hands. I will not let willful ignorance cost the people of this Bonko their lives, Beneva. Oh, you interfering will do far worse than that, I assure you. Beneva, please! Enough! If talk will not turn you away, then perhaps action will. Ha! This'll be fun! you have cost them. Sasha! You have lost, Beneva. Stand down, and let the people of this Banco go. This is Umber, Inspitore. Nothing is lost until death, and little is gained without it. Justice will blind you! The mechanisms of a contract, Beneva. <laughs> the Laboris are fools. They think to take everything into their own hands, but you... You have seen through their ideals. You know why this place exists. I am not here for your justifications. Goodbye, Beneva. Take it in. We owe it to you. <laughs> Please, Sable. 
If it hadn't been for you... Stop it, Cicero. You know where the true credit lies. Uh, looks like they're leaving. Goodbye, Inspettore. Goodbye. Leaving so soon? Zelia! A good thing you did today. What are you doing here? Keeping an eye on my wards, of course. And the people who interfere with them. I am the head matron of the Sorelli, lest you've forgotten. And you let this pass? I did not encourage it, certainly. But Beneva had her uses, though even she was not aware of my gaze. But yet you seem to care none that Beneva is now gone. In the city, those who cannot learn to ride the tides of change will quickly drown beneath their foam. A few letters of appreciation to both the laborious and the registry for rooting out the rotten flesh. A promise from one of the lesser matrons that she will take care of this ward better than Beneva. Hmm. In the grand scheme, there is little that is lost from the late matron's departure. What is this about, Zelia? Surely you didn't stop me to remind me of the Dance of Shadows. It's come to my knowledge that you're traveling with one of my mariners. What of it? Are you aware that he is in charge of an orphanage? He mentioned it briefly before. Today a songstress came by asking for him. Olana. She's asked for his place of residence, invoking her authority as songstress to claim the knowledge. We told her about the sail heart. You want me to tell him? If you could be so kind. I have a feeling this might be something he'd want to know. I'll see to it that he does. Thank you, Inspectore. Now, I best be off. The events here have clearly taken care of themselves. Until next time, Cicero. Let's get back. I have news for the Mariner. <laughs>